Hey, it's Mrs. Young. I want to show you today how to make a poster for your political project or political parties project. So that's one of the components that you need to include. Um, I'm at a site called Canva and it's C-A-N-V-A dot com. Um, I've also got a link on the library website though, so you should be able to use that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the search bar and I'm going to type in poster. It's really important that you do this. If you're choosing one of these, it may be too small for your website. Like if you chose a Facebook post, for example, those are going to come in very small and very low quality, but if you're choosing the poster one, it's going to give you really cool stuff. So if you just type in poster, press enter, it's going to give you loads and loads of templates that you can use um, to create your product. So what's cool about this is that let's say I want to do this one and I can take that then and I can get rid of any of these components. Like let's say I don't like those coins, I wanna delete those. I'm literally just clicking on them and hitting the delete button. So I can get rid of, let's say I don't want that, but I wanna keep all this other stuff here. Then I can keep that. So that's a really nice thing. If I wanna take these components and I wanna move them around, I can do that. Um, if I want to edit, it's just a simple type in, you know, political party and you can put your, um, change your information in that way. So that's a really, really simple way to make a poster for your political parties project. What you want to do to save it or share it, it saves automatically. But what you want to do to share that is I'm going to click on the share and then the download button. And I do want this to be a PNG, that's gonna be a uh, picture file, so that I can save that and then upload it into my website. So we'll just download, and then when you go into your uh, Google site, you can just upload a picture and it'll pop right up for you. If you decide that you don't like what is here and you wanna create your own, um, you can just do a poster from scratch. So if I wanna do, um, I can just pick one of these. I can just delete all the elements. So I'm just gonna highlight them, delete everything. Now I've got a blank page and I can start adding whatever I want to. So I can add text over here on the left-hand side. Um, I can type in whatever I need to put and I can make that larger or I can expand it this way. Such an easy program to use. I just drag and move it around. If I want to change the background on the left hand side, there's a background. I can change it to whatever I want to put. Kind of adjusted it for me. Maybe I want to make that change the font color. Okay, so it's just that simple. Um, if I want to do, if I want to upload something, I can just upload my files. Um, so I can upload things to it very easily, change the size of it. If I want to add photos that you can search for photos, just make sure you don't choose the ones that say pro on them because they'll charge you to use them. So that's the only thing you can't do. Um, you can add boxes and elements and lines and shapes and you can layer things on top of each other. So if I want to do this and put this behind it, then I'm just going to click on position and I'm going to send it backwards and now it's aligned to that. So um, just play around with it. It's not hard to use. It's a lot of fun. Um, I love using it. So that's Canva. Please let me know if you have any questions though. Um, you can always send me a Schoology message at Robin Young. Thanks.